Hello and welcome to the start of a playthrough of the British campaign in Victory at Sea Pacific. We load in all the way away from the action with a lot of problems about to happen. And I might end up fast forwarding through a lot of it as soon as we get their stuff in order. Priority one is Singapore. There's a lot of reasonably defeatable ships about to come and they're all about to be a big hassle. So I'm going to set all the surface combatants where I need them. You, you three over here, because you can fight surface ships. You corvettes are going to... Those are, nope, you guys. Gunboats with the corvettes. You are coming here. Good. Swordfish and bomber mode. And upgrade Prince of Wales. And while we're at it, get the rest of the AA. There's nothing else that's super urgent to do. So, destroyer, because we're going to need all the help we can get right here. I'm going to bring these outside before they head on to go do what they're going to do because it's very dangerous to go alone through all of this. Alright, that's two Corvettes. We eventually occupy these to get the war bonds and the planes, because it's not going to be a problem with Japan attacking them early. These cruisers attack this. Yep, those vessel these are about to start being a problem. And now I should fast forward through all the moving frigates and stuff around. Okay. That should be all the motor launches and things, all the little boats in relevant places. Now what's left is to break up some of the bigger convoys. Okay, that should be all that little boring stuff out of the way. Now we have, now we get to start figuring out what's up. And we have Supermarine Walruses, Full Mars, which can uh, move into the trash can they belong in. Bombers. What? It might be passable to have them as torpedo bombers just to keep them rotating in separate groups to the walruses. There. Quotan, there they are. What do we got? We got subs, pork boats, enemy spotters. We have anti-sub ships here when they approach. These are passable ASW bombers, so no kill like overkill. They're just bombers. I don't think the full mark would actually do anything at all, but we'll be able to shoot those down with all this AA and AA and fodder. Should they actually approach? And while we're at it, they can send these after those in the convoy and maybe get a couple kills. Check in on. Yep, these guys are going to get there eventually. Not relevant to lost spot, you'll get there by the end of the year, maybe. More planes at Catan. So now we go in here, and as long as they actually render instead of being compressed into a little flag full in port, yep, there they are. I do not like the chances of wherever those bombers are. I don't see them on the map. Let's pull that zoom in.
Looks like they're just taking off. I thought bombers were on their way. Maybe they realized they were about to attack the glorious British. Oh, there they are. And there they go. Great. Here comes some more. That's either them de-rendering or already dying. And oh. And oh, yep. Get them, boys. Good show. By rendering in, it will make sure the AA actually kills them instead of just harming them. And then it puts them back on a timer to reduce the amount of air attack problems we're going to be having. Torpedo. Yeah, they might get a couple. But once you arrive, I will change you back over. Yeah, hopefully we can bait these fighters into actually showing up on the map and dying because they are going to be brutally effective at countering any attempts we're making. Oh, here they come. <laughs> wow. Is this, does this seem like a good plan to you? Oh, now they're flying nose down. You're attacking battleships in an alert port. Okay. Are you going for Portal Harbor Round 2 Electric Boogaloo with three planes? Um, not sure what they expected. Pretty. <laughs> and the swordfish fired off three torpedoes, oh, six torpedoes, and did no damage. I was expecting less. Ooh. Yes. Zeros might decide they need to attack the port. And if they do, they're just gonna die. Come on. You know you wanna. Try it. Oh. <laughs> I think they... Whoa. Whoa. And these, whatever this is, what is this? What are you accomplishing? Is, is it get him chase this one little one? <laughs> get him! <laughs> They're terrifying! Oh, walrus, the silver marine walrus, and losing. The zeros are losing a turning battle. Let me pause. The Get one where he's shooting something. Give me, give me some cues. Good. <laughs> it just keeps going. Is it? No, it's not this one. It is this one right here. Let's see if if you go this way, will you? No, they're just in a dogfight loop. Go land there, does that work? Well, land on C. No, I... Th I think they're entering another dimension. We'll leave them to it. It, okay. Yeah, it just died. So... While everyone's repairing, we can get these swapped over for the start of our attempts to get that base 
to stop bombing all our pretty ships. All your spotters, all of you are become bombers. Just the regular sort. Really wish we had a assign loadout to all of this plane button in addition to the upgrade all swap over, swap over, swap over, and here we go. See if we can put that out of commission. Oh, there's any time, any time. Okay, motor launches are moving slowly. What's the U.S. up to right now? Whoa! They're, they are all going forward, and because those are on move orders instead of like resupply or attack orders, they launch their spotters, which are all PBY Catalinas because of a glitch that hasn't been fixed yet. The cruisers don't actually carry Catalinas, they carry the Seahawks and things like that. And ooh, this spotter might be about to attack. Do they know how to do that? Ooh, do they? Looks like no. And the battleships damage at Pearl are sailing out again. And all the carriers are sailing out in small task forces without upgrading their AA or acquiring escorts or any plan on what they're going to do when they encounter three carriers. Ugh. Still no way to merge those into convoys. Oh, that worked very well. So we'll finish them off. And retake this extreme peninsula. We successfully up. Oh, nice. Now I believe we are soon to receive a warm welcome from a pair of Japanese cruisers that live on these islands. So as soon as they show up and we beat them, I'll try to take those. Meantime, you guys are taking your time. Swap, 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 spotters. Swap. I know they're coming. They were there last time. Did they all decide they're too cool for Singapore this time? There's another cruiser and some destroyers to get here eventually. Those are all the little ships relocating. Don't worry, they can run on nothing but their T-rations just fine. <laughs> that should be the port that almost nothing fuel supply holding and indomitable is almost ready Ooh. no I think you spelled it wrong yeah whoa some of the ships just kind of passively. Okay, I'll put you all in morale mode on the way. And hope that's got them all in the positive in green before they arrive and have to actually start killing anything. Why are you so slow? Why are you gotta be so slow? Yep, nice. Oh, thank you, tutorial. Once an enemy port is scouted, you may order a fleet to attempt to capture it by right-clicking and selecting Amphibious Assault. And in a moment, we'll be able to hit the Upgrade button. Ah. 
on more than just throwing these fulmars in the trash can. More things out of fuel, whatever. Just use the use the tea. It'll work. It'll get you there. Domino for 95. There we go. And what planes did it generate? It generated more fulmars. Oh, and I don't ah. You're garbage. Nothing but garbage. I don't know how this ammo. Okay. That's it's trash. Trash. And send you. Kill those. I'll send you to assault that because the Japanese Navy decided not to show up this time? Last time they sent 27 ships. 27! All right here. Ah, uh, is this what they're doing first? This time? Yep. There's the first two cruisers that attack Komondorsky. Apparently America hasn't figured out the super powerful strat of just change out the spotter for a Dauntless and wait till they slow down to bombard the island. Commodore, yep, there they got it. And I wonder if they're... They got two cruisers. Are they going to go for another? It looks like they are. Maybe, they, maybe they've decided they want the Aleutians instead. There's you two. Two Bella spotters. The cruisers. I want to keep you two in nice condition. So, we'll be sending these bomber flights out first and waiting for them to close distance. And over here. We have the retaking of Catan. Oh, there we go. Turn that on so it automatically generates. There we go. Catan, yet. And just in case, I'll put a couple of these there. Not sure why they haven't done anything about this yet. They're just not interested? Are we not cool enough for them? Huh. And neither of these are in range to scout from port because we have little T-Rex armed planes. We supply, then set out together, I guess, to figure out what's up with Kaching. Not if that's good, yeah. I think it's rounding in the display here. And when it rounds up, it'll say 95 when you only have like 94.2. And that's not enough. No, 94.6. Still not enough, but it is enough to actually round properly. Come here. I think they're just figuring out how much trouble they're in. Yes. Yes, Lord Walrus. Show them your ways. And now we've gone from a 2v2 with superior cruisers to a 2v what's left of one. Both of you are headed home. Let's actually bring you into a safe altitude and keep this cruiser spotted. It's Tenryu. With, yeah, it's basically a destroyer with slightly bigger guns. Oh, it's closed range now. HMS Perth and Achilles. Anyone want to hit it? Oh, there we go. She's dead in the water now. Let's select all guns. Literally dead in the water. Just hit her. 
There, okay, there we go. And you have permission to land again. You should probably drop altitude on the way down. Okay, that's an intense dive for a flying boat. Alright, hopefully it lands back on the map screen. And now that pretty much everything they have in this area is gone, we'll be able to scout it and take it. And meanwhile, these Corvettes are still on their halfway there. They're halfway there! I'll get there eventually. Battleship Destroyer. I'll put this destroyer in with you. Wait a minute. They didn't launch planes because they were in morale mode. So the flight does that mean the flight deck is unmanned? Ooh. Flight deck, where's the flight deck? No, it doesn't. Okay. Vampire is back in the green. And I guess I guess he's just brooding and edgy. Come on, you're gonna be slowing the whole force down. Don't make me relocate you. Where is this like mess medical thing? Okay, you can only put one guy in the mess. These are auto generated, I don't think they double check them too much. But it does make a couple classes of the ship just randomly a lot more painful to deal with. Vampire, dirty bastard, you going? He's going to Catan all alone with nothing but little boats to keep you company. So while we're at it, I'll flip over more of these to spotter rolls. Okay, both of you two are ready. Are you guys anything to wait for? Break those. Not waiting 15 day time war. Ooh, you guys are early. And that is a lot of hurt. That is a lot of hurt. All right, I think I'm going to cut this here. We'll come back next episode and follow what's going on with these.